Praise God so much. My name is um, Deborah Gracious Nicole. I am from Lobo Glorious Ministries. I'm, I'm from the country of Uganda. Um, my title is Worship. It's got from the book of John 4.24, which says, 424 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, it, it is guiding us on how to worship God because us as believers so many times it is really a disgrace that we've gone to church for over 20 years but when you check when God checks in the heavenly records you've not worshipped him as he really expects and the Bible says he, since he is a spirit it's only in spirit that we can worship him without being in self so when you're in self, you look at the material desires, you can't worship God. For example, when you go to church, when you go to church, you're faced with a problem. For example, financial hurdles. Whenever you lift your hands to worship God, the devil shall remind you. Meaning, if you're not in spirit, if, you're, if the, you've not allowed the Holy Spirit to take over, because that is what our hearts are meant to do, worship. And for that reason, the devil was dumped down to earth because... He opposed, he also fought for the worship of God because he's a jealous being. So I want to tell you, the devil also attends fellowships with you. Whenever you go in for fellowships, he also sits beside. That's why whenever you, they, they sing a, a worship song or a praise song, I'm, I'm going to get a miracle today. The devil will remind you of your daughter having cancer who has stayed for your marriage of seven years that has been broken. And still it is not promising. But... This scripture is encouraging us that only in spirit, that's why it is only in spirit and not flesh. And in this case, God demands our sacrifice of worship. And in this case, this type of sacrifice is very hard to be got by any other ordinary believer. It's very hard to reach this level of sacrifice. The sacrifice of Abraham, where he had to believe to still worship God without a child and on top of that to show his total surrender he again had to give in the son to move a male going to give in the child for sacrifice this is a form of worship and we should our hearts should all always be in worship but we should always be cultivated in worship when we sit when we talk when we hear we should hear we should be in the spiritual realm together with God and I, I must add Tell you guys, Christians, that don't depend even on the preachers. Don't depend on your worship leader. Because these are children of human beings. They are children of human beings. They have their problems. You may go to your pastor and tell him a problem. He may blast you, yet you're the head of the worship team. So how will you, whenever you go and lift your hands, the devil shall remind you that if even, if even my own pastor can say this word to me, then how shall, how shall I worship God? So worship is just of the spirit of God and lucky are those that worship God in truth and spirit. Mm -hmm. So now another thing I have to remind us again is that before you come and worship God, always leave, lean on the scriptures. If you're going to worship God, mm -hmm. lean on the scriptures because the wisdom of man is nothing. Because the wisdom of, of God surpasses psychology, it surpasses all the scientists we have. It's only the word of God that can break human principles. There is no other power. Since you're worshipping, just know whenever you first heard us in worship, it's because God is the King of Kings and the devil is jealousy. He also wants the worship. So I would love to end this by telling all believers that just know that when you're a true worshiper of God, the enemy shall fight you. But you have to lean on the scriptures and not on man and only ask for his spirit. Because when you ask for his spirit, God is a spirit. You have to go into the spirit. That's how you meet him. But when you're in the body, that is self. And self can't worship the spirit. It's only in truth and spirit. Therefore, I ask all of you guys mm -hmm. to always lean on this scripture. It's a good help to all of us. And may the spirit of the Lord give you strength to understand how to worship him. In Jesus' name.